here's Tom Cochran, uh, Wish You Well, from his 1997 um, acoustic uh, CD called Songs of a Circling Spirit. He did this with Red Rider many years previous, um, and it's, it starts acoustically, but it gets in a real rock and uh, it's electric and everything else. But this is an acoustic, uh, he was doing an acoustic tour, I remember some friends went to see him in Courtney. Vancouver Island, but um, yeah, it's a fantastic CD. I've got it, and uh, it's really neat to hear some of the electric songs done acoustically. I've always said that I really enjoy um, electric tunes that are tuned or uh, turned into acoustic tunes. So uh, this is a campfire type stuff, right? So um, <clears throat> standard tuning. It's in the key of D, and it starts with uh, picking the D string, the fourth string, and then hitting the third and the second strings. And just go. That's all you do. So open third, fourth of the fourth, open third again. Okay, and then you pick the G note there on the sixth fret, third fret of the um, sixth string. Do the same thing again. And then the F sharp note on the 6th string, 2nd fret of the 6th uh, string. And that's what you do there, on the, that's on the 4th string, open 2nd, 4th. And then arpeggio pick a G. And then he does that right at the very beginning, so he, he's, he hits, basically just hits a couple of the top string, top uh, end of the G. Something like that. So he's uh, just doing a little um, uh, hammer-on pull-off on the uh, third fret uh, onto the second, uh, third string onto the set, open to second, and then the fourth of the fourth again, and then into an A. And every once in a while he does that little uh, embellishment. Not every time, but just listen to the song and you'll see where it all fits in. Okay, I'll do that from the top. into it for two or three uh, times right through. Oh, and uh, by the way, that, see I didn't do that before I went into the A, so he only does that very first uh, run through and then sec second and third time. He doesn't do it again through the song. Um, so that goes through, start, uh, I don't know, three or four times. You'd have to listen to the album. Then it, uh, into a bit of a chorus. And it's just a E, G, and then back into that same thing again. Except you just do the G. See the difference there, right? So, so you do that right from the intro thing, but then when you do the G, you don't go back to that uh, little, you don't do that again, and then into the A. That's pretty well um, the chorus and the verses. There's a little bit of um, things he, he does. Uh, there's one part he goes like this. Um, he, go, he goes into another sort of a, a verse or a chorus, I should say. So he's, he's doing the E. Uh, e. And then into the G. So he's walking in back into an A by just doing like a sort of pentatonic riff.
Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, uh, second fret or second string, third to second. Okay, so second string, um, third, second, open, second of the um, third, and then I'll open. So, sorry, let me start that again. And then fourth of the um, fourth, and then open fourth. that little embellishment, you really hear that embellishment in that part. That's the only time you'll hear him do the full D and he adds that little sus4 in it. So let me start that again. What he does with it, and then back one more. And there's one other time where he's go it goes back to that E again. Some Canadiana for you again, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.